Okay guys, I have decided to start refilling my own bottles. Instead of buying those little green bottles and having them laying around everywhere. And legally, you're not supposed to refill those green bottles like you get from Walmart. But these bottles are made and perfectly legal to refill. So I bought the bottles. I bought the adapter. And there's still a little bit of propane in this tank. I don't know if it's going to be enough to fill one, but we're going to try. So I'm going to unwrap these, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I got them unwrapped, and it comes with the Allen wrench. It was taped to this black lid. You can see here how it's taped on this one. And I'm going to take this black, untwist this off of here. Now with the adapter valve that I purchased, it comes with a set of instructions. And it recommends putting the cylinder in the freezer for a couple hours, but I'm not going to do that with these cylinders. These cylinders do have a bleed valve. That's what that Allen wrench key is for. So I'm going to attach this to my cylinder. Now, I don't have much propane in this particular tank at all. So I'm just hoping I can get at least one field maybe. So that's there. Now, you got to flip this tank here upside down to be able to fill these. Fill these. So I open this valve, it, you just open it just a little bit, and I bled any pressure that was on this tank off. Now I'm going to reclose the valve. Okay guys, I'm going to fill one of these flame can refillable tanks. Now, you go to www.flameking.com and they will tell you exactly how to fill this thing. The weight of these canisters are on here. There's 1.1 pounds, and I think it'll hold 2.5 when it's full, 2.5 pounds. Right now we're at 1, 1, 10. I done put a little bit in that one. This one's empty, it's at 0 0.106 according to my scale, and they say it's at 1.1. So we're gonna use my scale on this one. And we are going to screw this tank into this fitting that's already on this big propane tank. But this propane tank's not full, so I'm not sure I'm going to get a full fill. Okay, I have the small propane tank attached to the adapter valve, which is attached to the big propane tank. I use these black caps to kind of keep my tank straight up and down. The problem with this tank is it's not full, so I'm probably going to have to tilt it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this valve here. This one hasn't been filled with anything yet. If I can find the, let's see, it's, let me guess, it's spin this around. Where's the valve at? There it comes. There's the valve there. We're going to take the supplied Allen wrench. I can get it in there. There it is. And we're going to pop that loose. And then we're going to open this valve. You can hear it filling, and we're going to let it go until we have a steady stream of gas coming out of this valve right here, and then we're going to shut that valve off.
I'm gonna pull this out and tilt it just a little bit. Try to get the liquid to the bottom. Smells like gas. Let's shut this off and then check it. I don't see anything coming out of this yet, other than there. I'm gonna shut that off. We're gonna shut this off and we're gonna weigh it. I may have to get my other tank. Okay, I went and got my fuller tank. So I'm not having to guess with this. Let's turn my valve on around here. We're gonna open up this valve. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And then we're gonna open this valve. Now gas. I'm not seeing any kind of liquid coming out of it though. try something okay so I'm getting a I put it like this you can see the gas come out of there now you can even see the gas on the Allen wrench there turned it white I closed the valve I closed the valve I removed it from the adapter I put it on the scale we're at two pounds and six two point oh six and it says we can go up to, let's see, let me find it, 2.5, so we're going to leave it there. There's enough in there to do whatever I need to do. Now this one is not full all the way yet, so we're going to put it back on there. So I put it back on there. I'm going to go ahead and open this valve. I can hear stuff going in there. And now I'm going to see where my valve's at here. There's right on the front. So we're going to open this up. You can hear our air coming out of it. Now on the other one, this tank isn't completely full either. So I tilted it up a little bit until I saw the gas come out of the bottle. I seem to have better luck with them out to the side. When you see the gas coming out there, it may not be completely full, but I think it's going to be full enough. Okay, the bottle says that'll be full at 2.5, just like the other one. We're at 2.1. So it's not completely full. You're only supposed to fill them 80%. And uh, that's going to be plenty to do what I need to do. And it's so easy to refill them that it'd be quick just to refill them if I need more. But both of those are ready to go. One thing that I want to note is that if you can find one of these valves that's got a 90, to where you can set the tank upside down, and then the... The refillable bottle is parallel with this tank you're gonna get a better feel but this is fine I mean it does work you just uh, put the valve on there 
screw that refillable tank on here, flip this upside down, open the valve on the big tank, use the Allen wrench to open the valve on the little tank, and like I said, the tank will be, this is upside down, that tank will be sticking out this way, and when you open that valve, just let it fill until you start seeing the mist come out of the, the valve, and you could tilt this just a little bit to get just a little bit more gas in there, but I'm not too worried about that little bit extra. But if you have a, find one of these with a 90, you can top them all the way off, no issue. Okay, so I have both of these filled. This tank still has a couple pounds in it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on my camper and use it till it's empty. Now on this, you see I put the black caps back on and I took a ice pick and punched a hole through that plastic to where I can keep the Allen wrench in there so it'll be with the canister at all times. Whenever I untape this one, I'll do the same. In fact, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it because it's in there pretty good. So as long as when you take these caps off to use a cylinder, you just be aware that your Allen wrench is in this cap. You should never lose it.